Hello friends, uh, today uh, we had been to site. This site completely is of the reinforced earth wall constructions. Now this reinforced earth wall construction, just this is a basics one. For this basic, this is an abutment. With this abutment, you can see the abutment over here with this site and abutment over that site. This abutment has the number of holes in it. Okay. This you can see with the pattern, the holes have been provided. This holes have been provided because of uh, going for uh, to betterment of the drainage. Backside of this, now this is about your abutments. Okay. Now uh, we will be going to that uh, with the side of uh, my construction of RE wall, another RE wall. Now this RE wall is completely of the block types. You have the number of types of RE walls. Just now, these are your abutments and the deck slab. With that deck, with that deck slab, I need to go with the making of the slope. Okay, the slope should meet with the ground surface. Okay, now that is your deck slab, and then that is your ground surface. Just it has to be made and gradient. Okay. With this making of the gradient, the fill material, what we will be going for is with the more. In between this retaining walls, the fill material has to be dumped. This is the fill material you people can see over here. The fill material is completely of the morum itself, nothing but very bearing capacity is very high. Now, as the identification on the field itself, you people can recognize the soil particles, the individual particles here are more than most majorly greater than 75 microns itself. Okay, and it doesn't have more cohesive property. Okay. Now this soil grains goes with the good rearrangement and we can achieve the good density now as you people have gone through the compaction units in the geotechnical engineering this compaction is led with the help of standard procta and modified procta the x axis stands for the water content and y axis stands for the dry dry density now the compaction curve you people will be drawing, this I will be showing you in the picture over here. Now we people will be getting OMC and MDD. What do you mean by OMC and MDD? You people are well known. Now based on that OMC itself, we are laying down the water and then we are compacting it with the help of rollers. These rollers are more important with this center part of the retaining wing, the vibratory rollers with the heavy and then with the either end of the corners, we are using the baby rollers. Because if we are using the vibratory heavy rollers over the corners or the linings, then there are the chances to get the retaining walls gets collapsed. This are we are using the baby rollers on it. Now, uh, you can uh, you you people can see over here. These are your geotextiles. Basically, we will be calling it as geosynthetics. This geosynthetic uh, material we are laying with a, uh, as per the design procedures, with a 30 centimeter height or one block, other, other. This one completely will be laying, it will be as a mattress. This mattress will be starting from here till that end. Just we will be laying down the mattress completely and then we are supposed to fill the fill material and on it. And then after filling up the fill material, we are compacting it. Now that gives us the good tensile strength to the soil. What do you mean by reinforce? Reinforce is nothing but giving the tensile strength to the soils. Now as the soil is very good with the compression and it has uh, and weak with the tension. So we are increasing the reinforce. 
Now this reinforcement, how we going to increase the tensile strength is to pro by providing the geosynthetic material. This geosynthetic material, in this case, it is of geotextile company. This geotextile material is laid down with with a each e single blocks. After completing the block, keeping up the block, okay, the geosynthetic material has is to be laid completely. Now, sometimes this geosynthetic material will be laid from this end of the with this end of the retaining wall to the another end of the retaining wall with that side. Okay, it will be this whole the mattress of the geosynthetic will be laid. Okay, the bundle you people can see over here with the manufacturing unit. It is to be transported like this. Okay, after transporting, just it is will be laid and then it is it has to be rolled completely. It will be as a blanket over here. This blanket type we will be practicing sometimes. Okay, if not, if you have a good bearing capacity of more than 800, 900, 1000 kilonewton per meter square, now need, no need to lay down the geosynthetic material overall with the width. It is not so. Only with the linings of the retaining walls, we will be laying down the geotextile material. As you people can see over here, this geosynthetic material has laid down only with the liners, nothing but retaining walls nearby. Okay, it would be, it is not laid overall with the width itself. Okay, because the bearing capacity of the fill material is very good. Nothing but bearing capacity is more than 900, 800 to 900 volts. Okay, now this geotextile material goes with the number of functions. As we people see, the blocks has been arranged with a sequence like this and it has a locking system. The block has, just I will be showing you the block, how the locking system has to be done. This is, this is your I section block. With this I section block, it has been broken enough, just it should be like this. Okay. Now this I section block. We will be having, just you can see the one, one inch difference between this locking system block. Okay. Now, this with this locking system block, this is your fascia of this block. This is your fascia of this block and we will be keeping it. And then we are pouring the gravel material in it. Okay. It stands with the its sulfate as it is very huge, heavy enough. Okay. With the sulfate it can stand and to increase the sulfate we are providing another material known as gravel which is also used for as a drainage drainage function now the same way this geosynthetic not only provides the reinforcement also provides the of the separation and of the drain patterns nothing but it goes with the filter pattern it filters the, it retains the soil particles within it and it makes the water to percolate out this is the another function okay now, uh, this, uh, this is your, with this retaining wall, you people can see the wall over here, they are, uh, they are constructing with the, with the, by the stages of these panels, okay, the neighbor, the I section blocks. This I section blocks will be laid one above the, one above the other, just we are erecting, elevating it with the height of, with respect to the deck slab. With that deck slab, we are providing the gradient from there till here with the slopey pattern. Okay, till that we will be raising up this fill material as the liner, nothing but retaining walls have been erected. Respectively, the fill material has to be dumped and then it has to be compacted. Now, uh, this is all about the laying of laying up the retaining walls with the block systems with a uh, with a both sides and then the in between the space has to be dumped with a good bearing capacity of the soil compacted with the omc and mdd achieving the uh, proper that makes the proper compaction highest density 
and then in between the blocks nothing but fill materials we are introducing the geosynthetic materials geosynthetic has a number of functions and then the procedure out the procedure completely till we reach the desired gradient of this gradient till the deck slab the main advantage is we are using this area if i was not constructing this retaining wall the slope gradient would be with that with the with the gradient of sweats with this gradient i am using i am reducing this area and making the surface this is one advantage of this retaining wall that's the end of the session today this is about all about the site visit with the further videos we are going to other sites exploring it completely hope you people understood bit of it i am not saying you people have understood completely a bit of it you got an idea about it and then whatever the the following construction procedures are i will be giving the link below just go with the like and subscribe please thank you